Hey, Shalom. First off, I want to start up by saying all praises, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakhakadash. It's all praises to the world called God, whose true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, by Hashem meaning in the name of Yahweh Shai being the name of the only begotten Son. Also, want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and mercy to the whole elect. I'm the brother Tazaba in a Great Millstone, Arizona camp, Lord Will, with another video to edify. Um, that being said, we're going to get into this, man. You know, the chariots of the Lord are coming back. The Lord is going to do great work on those chariots, man. And, and despite what the world believes, and they, you know, Esau uses his uh, his media to sit here and defame the angels and make them out to be little green men and, and the chariots of the Lord to be UFOs. No, these, these, these are vehicles of the Lord. What you call UFOs, right, flying in the sky that these devils can't understand, those are the vehicles of the Heavenly Father, ch chariots of the Lord. And you go back into the Old Testament in the time of Moses and Exodus, right? Said he was going to be a, a pillar of fire by night and a, a, a pillar of clouds by day. Those were the chariots of the Heavenly Father. Now, when you go here, the Lord's bringing those things back to issue forth judgment, man. Judgment on the on Esau, you heathen. These things are here for that. All right, so 2nd Ezra 13 and 2, it says, And lo, there arose a wind from the sea. And it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. You see? That man is going to wax strong with the thousands of heaven. It's talking about Yahweh Shai. The, the, the scriptures say the, the chairs of the Lord are thousands, even thousands of angels. Right? It says, um, and when he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen under him. Right? The Lord is coming back with that great power, man. When you see these things, the scriptures tell you, uh, uh, you know, that uh, men's hearts were filling them for fear, as the scriptures say, and for looking upon those things which are come, right? When you're met with insurmountable power, these people are going to be trembling. They're going to be afraid because what? They're going to see that the Lord didn't look like the so-called white men. He looked like the ones that you've been shitting on, talking shit at, at your dinner table. You, you eat them, man. All you heathen, really. All you enemies of the Lord. And at that day, you're going to see... Who the Lord's dealing with. It says verse 4. It says. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth. All they burned that were that heard his voice. Like as the earth when it filleth. The, when it filleth the fire. And what is that going back to? The Habakkuk the third chapter. Right. I'm going to read it right here. It says the Most High. Uh, came from Teman. Right. Going into a dwelling place of uh, Edom. Right. And the Holy One from Mount Paran. Salah, his glory covered the heavens and the earth was full of his praise. Right? It says verse four, it says, in his brightness, and the the, the the his his glory that covered the heavens is talking about his 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 army, his his chariots. The script, I just covered the scripture, right? The Lord coming with his thousands, even thousands of chariots, and even thousands of angels. The Lord is gonna fill the skies with his chariots and show you the, the expanse of his power. It says in his in his brightness was as the light. It says in his in it and he had horns in his hand, and he had horns coming out of his hand, and there was the hiding of his power. Now, when you go to that 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 word horn, the horns that were going out of his hand, it goes into beams, right? It says uh, Strong's H seventy one sixty one, Karen, Karan. And it says, uh, and it says what? Karan. And it says, uh, horn, horn, strength, flask, horn, music and instrument of rays of light. So that's that concentrated heat. And when we keep going on that second, that's just the 13th chapter, you're going to see that it was it's prophesied the same thing in there. Right. That was the hiding of his power because the Lord was able to just burn people up with that concentrated energy and these things are coming back man the lord is gonna get down bro so uh go see what this is this is a right keep going in the second this is the 13th chapter and it says um verse five it says and after this i beheld and lo there was a gathered together a great multitude of men out of out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue that man that came out of the seed. And this is when it goes into the book of Revelation where it says there was war in heaven. 
right? This is that multitude of all those nations, man. It says, uh, Revelation 12 and 7, it says, And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought in his angels. Going into what? The beast system is going to come up and fight against what? The heavenly father and his, his army, right? It says, And prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast into the earth and his angels were cast out with him. You see, so the Lord is going to come and fight. This is, this is what's being prepared. This is what, this, these are those multitudes. The Lord is going to make these nations fight against him for his people. Right? So back in the uh, second, is this, uh, 13 and five, it says, and after this, I beheld and lo, it was gathered together a multitude of men out of number from the four winds of heaven to subdue the man that came out of the sea, talking about Yahweh Shai. And I beheld, and lo, he grayed himself a great mountain and flew upon it. I was talking about the chariot of the Lord. It says, in, in, it says but I could not see the region or place where, where out the hill was graven. And I, uh, it says, and I could not because that chariot was so big, it filled the sky. I'm thinking about the movie Independence Day. Right? The Lord is going to come with that great power. When you see something that's encompassed the sky and the Lord is sitting there issuing out judgment from it, people getting zapped, you know, eviscerated off the face of the earth. That's the power of the Lord. And these things are coming now in the book of Daniels, the second chapter. It spoke about these things when, when he went into the statue, right? This is Daniels 2. And yeah, 34. Might start up a little. I'll start at 31. It says, It says, Thou, thou, O king, saw us, and behold, a great image. That it says, This image was the brightness, uh, this image whose brightness was excellent, stood before thee. It says, In the form thereof was terrible. And it's talking about all the, the kingdoms. That rule starting off with what the Babylonians was the head of gold, uh, the the Persians, and the Medes was uh, the 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 chest. All right, I gotta pull it up. I don't want to mess this up. Here it is, the head of gold. The Babylonians, the Medo Persian Empire was the chest. The Grecians were the Bronze Age, which goes into the uh, Grecian Rome Empire, the 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 legs, right, made of iron, which goes into the Roman Empire, and then the the feet of miry clay is going into NATO and the EU, right? America riding the whore, riding the beast is that whore riding the beast? So, you know, these are the things that the scriptures talk about. Now, keep going in verse. Uh, where was he at? 31, it says, O king, sawest thou, and behold, an image, this, this great image, whose brightness was excellent and stood before thee, and the form thereof was terrible. It says, The image, his head was of, of fine gold, his breast and arms of silver, we covered this, the belly and, the, and his thighs of brass, his, uh, his legs of iron, his uh, feet of iron and, and, and of iron in part. Of of clay, thou sawest till the stone. So like it says, thou sawest till that stone was cut out without hands, right? He just like uh we read Ezra's trying to figure out where he got that mountain of fire, on, which was really just a uh, symbolism for the chariot, because it was so huge. That's all he had to compare to it. That's how big the the chariot that the Lord is going to come back on is, that he could only compare it to a mountain, right? It says, uh, thou sawest to that stone, thou sawest to that a stone was cut out without hands, which smote the image on his feet that there, that, uh, that, that were of iron and clay and break them in pieces. And that's what the Lord is coming back to do, to break you nations down. It says, this was, it says, then was the iron, the clay, the brass, the silver, and the gold broken to to pieces together and the lord said what 
to, to rule over the nations with a rod of iron. Right? As a potter's vessel shall he break them in pieces. That's what the Lord is coming to do. It says, and became like the chaff of the summer threshing floor. And the wind carried them away and that no place was found for them. And the stone, it says, in the, in the stone that smote the image became a great mountain and filled the whole earth. Meaning that government under the Lord was set back up. And that's what's getting prepared. Right. This is what's being prepared. The Lord is preparing to set us back up and he's going to sit here and start with his judgments coming out of that chariot, man. Right. It's Isaiah 26 and 20. It says. Um, Come, my people, and enter into thy chambers and shut thy doors about thee. Hide thyself as it were a little moment, meaning you're going to want to be in those chariots, man. When the Lord comes to issue forth his judgment. If you're not in the chairs, you're done. Right? Because that beast of destruction is coming. And that's, that's the aid. That's the weapons of the Lord's indignation. So if you're not caught up there, right, to hide from the indignation, you, you're done. It says until the indignation be overpassed. Because what the Lord's coming to do in these chairs is, is wreck havoc, man. It says, for, for behold, Yahweh will come it out of this place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood and shall no more cover her slain. You see, the Lord is about to do that judgment, man. That's, that's what's cold, man. Though, though you thought you were good, the Heavenly Father is going to make sure that you get it at the end of the day, that you were wicked. The Lord is coming back to, to, to get his elect. Zechariah 5 and 1, it says, Then I turned and lifted up my eyes and looked, and behold, a flying roll. What is that talking about? Is that talking about a rolled up piece of paper, a dinner roll? No, that's talking about the chariots of the Lord. All right, you're going to read Ezekiel when it says the will within the will. Same thing. It's going all into the chariots, man. They got many shapes and forms. It says, and I said, and he said unto me, what seest thou? And, and he, I said, I see a flying roll. It says the length thereof is 10 cubits and the breadth thereof. Uh, the length thereof is 20 cubits and the breadth thereof 10 cubits. Then said he unto me, it says, this is the curse that goeth over the face of the whole earth. Why? Because the Lord is going to use these chariots to issue forth his judgment, man. Right? It's going to be a curse to some, but to others, it's going to be a blessing, man. It's Habakkuk 3, and I'll go back to that Zechariah. Habakkuk 3. And 8, it says, was was Yahweh displeased against the rivers? Was thy anger against the rivers? Was thy wrath against the sea that thou didst ride upon thy horses and thy chariots of salvation? Right? Because when the Lord brings these chariots, man, it's for two things, destruction and salvation, man. Thy bow was made quite naked according to the oaths of the tribes, even thy words, Allah, thou didst cleave the earth with rivers. Right? The Lord is coming back to do, <laughs> to wreak havoc, man. It says, uh, verse uh, 10, it says, the mountains saw thee and they trembled. The overflowing of the water passed by. The deep uttered his voice and lifted up his hands on high. The sun and the moon stood still in their habitation at the at the light of thy arrows. Uh, they went and at the shining of thy glittering spear, talking about the missiles, the Lord, the Lord is the one in control of that. The Lord created the smith that blows the coals in the fire. He created the, the men that were able to sit here and fashion those things. Those scientists, right? Not only the scientists, the the the, the smiths that actually have to build those those metals and and get the alloys right to hold those nuclear components. The Lord created all those things. It says this. It says, um, "Thou didst march through the land in indignation. Thou didst thresh the heathen in anger." This is what the Lord is coming to do. Thou wentest forth for the salvation of thy people, even for the salvation. With thine anointed. It says thou uh, woundest the head of the house of the wicked. And who's the chief one? Esau Edom. He's the chief of the house of the wicked. By discovering the foundation. Unto the unto the next a lot. Right. Thou didst strike through with staves. The head of the, of the villages. They came out as a whirlwind to scatter me. Their rejoicing was to, to devour the poor secretly. And this is what these plans are. This is why 
they were sitting there putting all these mandates up because it was a it's a plot to destroy the poor secretly, right? Back in Zechariah 5, and 3, it says, Thou did it, uh, it says, Then said he unto me, This is the curse that goeth over the face of the whole earth, for everyone that steal it shall be cut off on that side, and who's the one that steals? John 10 and 10. The thief came in not but to steal, kill, and destroy. And who is the thief in the earth? So so-called white men. So th this is what these chariots are coming for, Right? Then it says, this is the curse that goes over the face of the whole earth. For everyone that still it shall be cut off of nets. Uh, uh, everyone that still it shall be cut off as on this side according to it. And everyone that swear, swear it shall be cut off as on that side according to it. And I will bring it forth, say Yahweh of hosts. And it shall enter into the house of the thief. And into the house of him that swear falsely by my name. These Eden Edomites have been forever swearing falsely by the Lord's name. Bringing up the God of the Bible, swearing in on the book. It says, swear not at all by the temple, right? But these devils break these things all the time. It says, and it shall remain in the midst of his house and shall consume it with the timber thereof and the stone thereof because the Lord is bringing that great destruction and those chairs are going to be part of it, man. Along with the nuclear missiles, along with the spiritual power the Lord is going to have. The Lord already has. You know, so Lord willing to edify them, say, call all you how about Shim Yahushai, by Shimakarkadah Shalom.